I'm Johnny Ryan, I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at Irish Times. Uh, we're now in week two of the Irish Times Digital Challenge and over the last week the five startups we brought in for eight weeks have been getting to know the building and getting a feel for things. Already in week two we have one startup who is very very close to launching an initiative with the Irish Times and that's my iFly. And with my particular application, it's about now validating that in the market, see if there is a market for it. And so I'm working with some of the departments inside the Irish Times. So they've, uh, they've put a proposal out to some clients and the initial feedback is very good. So what we're really looking for is product validation there with to see that can we actually um, use this? Is it, is it a viable product for the Irish Times to use? Okay, so... Uh, what it is, it's a web application to Working with them was great because it, it's a great um, opportunity for us. We, As a startup, you don't do very much branding. I mean, you don't spend money on anything you don't really have to spend money on. So I don't even have a logo, so that would be fantastic. You feel, I feel like that window of saying I'm now a finalist in the Irish Times Digital Challenge and that's a very strong proposal when you're trying to get in the door with somebody. So I'm milking that as much as possible. And so that means I'm quite busy with appointments, which is good. There's a few who maybe are frustrated because they think that they're near, but they're having difficulty finding the right people in the building to talk to. I'd say one of those is probably PicTurk. They've got a great product, and we have to see if our commercial and technical people really pick up on what they're offering. When something's just an idea, you have nice kind of nebulous meetings where people just shoot the breeze, and they can't identify any specific issues or specific pitfalls and when you have meetings like that you know you're in trouble. I come from a projects background so I'm very much about getting things done because if we had a better understanding of, of what the realities that commercial face we could produce, help them produce the communications that would help them yeah. sell what we're doing. Getting people to make that decision uh, for a sponsorship spend is uh, sometimes a bit more difficult, but once they make that decision, they become very committed. When they put out the challenge, they asked for people to come here with pieces of technology that could, that they could use, and we have that. So for us, the technology isn't an issue. We can deliver that. The issue is about managing the the process here. Uh, probably the most challenging week for us within the challenge, because what we want to do is we want to nail everyone down. Who's going to do what and when? And uh, if we can get agreement on that, we have a project. If we don't have agreement on that, we don't have a project. Uh, I'd like better coffee on this floor, please. Storyflow is definitely an interesting company. The first thing that they did, even before week one, was change their name from Topify. So here we have a very early stage company. They haven't even incorporated yet. And what they're offering potentially has major benefits for us but they have a real design challenge. They have to figure out how to make their little widget on the side of irishtimes.com truly compelling, something that people will want to click into. So I'm Martin from Storyflow. We're providing timelines of different topics uh, for an article that you're reading right now, so you can see kind of the evolution of the topics over time. We changed the name from Topify to Storyflow just before the competition started because Topify was overused, basically. And so we need a pretty much a, a, a new branding, so the whole design of the site will change because our widget is also changing. So uh, I think the Irish Times have selected us because uh, they need to increase their user engagement on the site. So they already have a lot of very high quality content, but they need to uh, kind of guide the users to perhaps more uh, older content that's not uh, on the home page anymore and to really help the users interact with the site because that's what they want and that's what the users want as well and I think our product does exactly that. Knockon.ie which is a really great uh, viable people love it it's a rugby community for the amateur club rugby scene the problem for the Irish Times is on the one hand can Rob its founder really connect and mesh with our sports team who he's working with but not closely with yet he's working near them um, and the second problem is, is there a revenue proposition? Yeah, it's a major focus on the commercial side of our website. That's our target for next week. We really want to look at how we can bring money in. 
uh, right now. Uh, a lot of it is just to make the website work and make money for me and itself, make a profit, so that the Irish Times not only want to partner with us because of our community and the strength of our idea, but also want to partner with us because we're bas basically a successful business on our own right as well. So I think next week is all about commercial side of things. Johnny met me today and just said he felt that a lot of my planning was just a little bit too much focused on the content. So as, as he pointed out, like I have a, a community and that's what the Irish Times are interested in. The content is what gets my community, but that's not necessarily what they're interested in. They're interested in the community I have and how, how I've gathered it for sure. So I think it just maybe steering me back on track. So that's left me this afternoon just having a little bit of rethink on a few things. And, you know, it's maybe stalled things in my mind a little bit. Finally, there's Getbulb. This is the team that's doing visualization of data, major area for the Irish Times in the future. And that team is having difficulty because we know inside the Irish Times who does the print design for anything to do with graphs and charts, but we don't yet know ourselves really how the workflow works for digital designs when they require some complicated thinking around them. The week has gone really, really well. Uh, we had uh, an interesting experience where we're, we're getting good engagement, good buy-in from the print side of the house. They, they really like what we're doing with saving them time in terms of producing these types of graphics but we're still trying to find that, that, right, uh, that right delivery for the online side of the house. So what we're working on at the moment now is, is taking some print designs, turn it into live online templates that you can insert into a website quickly and easily. And once we've done that, we're hoping that that will attract the attention, prick the interest of the online guys and get that engagement that we're, we're trying to, to pin down. And the, the paper industry is in such pressure that getting that engagement in that space can be a challenge. So really, it's, it's managed to do that without seeing like a, a crazy person who wants to just push, push, push. So five companies, different stages. One already very near success, one frustrated because they're so near, and then three who have fairly big problems to solve. We'll see how they do next week.